Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Beckoning Brilliance. I'm your host, Becca Buka, and it's been a minute. Sorry about the delay. Um, I recorded this episode a couple weeks ago, and I have no excuse. I just procrastinated and was doing summer things, living my life, and I really need to get back on track. So this is my public apology, trying to have you guys hold me accountable to be more consistent with my episodes. But anyway, this is a great episode for me to get back into things with because I'm joined by my friend Shapressa from Flora Cash. If you haven't heard of Flora Cash, you need to check them out. I actually met she and her husband, Cole, in Minnesota back in 2014. So I've known her for a while and we've stayed in touch. So it's been really cool to see the two of them just blow up and become famous. If you don't know about their story, it's adorable. It's a true modern day romance. They actually met on SoundCloud of all places. Um, They both uploaded music there and they started messaging each other. And then she's from Sweden. He's from Minnesota. She came over to Minnesota and the rest is history. Their professional resume includes hitting number one on alternative radio. They have been certified gold and platinum in Australia, Sweden, Germany, Norway, the UK, and the US as well. They've also performed on The Late Late Show with James Corden and live with Kelly and Ryan. Crazy. And I'm a Spotify girl, so I'm going to tell you the stats on here. They have 2.8 million monthly listeners on Spotify, and their most popular song, You're Somebody Else, has over 400 million streams. Like, what? crazy. Anyway, I filmed this conversation a couple weeks ago. Um, We hadn't actually talked in a long time. So this is basically us catching up. And we talk about music and her daughter. And this is her first solo interview that she's ever done. So I really was getting the scoop on everything. When I was talking to her, she wasn't entirely sure when their new music was dropping. But since the interview, they have a date. So their new song, I'm Tired, drops on September 15th. So I'm super excited to hear it along with the rest of you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Shapressa, hi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's been forever since we've talked yeah and seen each other but yeah. I'm so happy that you joined me today thank you I'm so happy to do this I'm, I've been actually excited all since we talked that we were gonna do it so yeah it feels great <laughs> yeah cool so actually when I was like you know refreshing my memory about all your guys information I was like looking and am I wrong have you not done an interview in like two years yeah that's true or gigs or actually no not nothing like that since we had a kid I know it's not crazy I'm so but- honored oh right you should be honored. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually have you even done anything alone like have you ever done anything without Cole no I actually haven't I'm just I getting the exclusive <laughs> that. that's, so that's so fun I'm so happy <laughs> so we were kind of catching up before we started recording but yeah. we met in 2013 I think it was yeah. and I was asking you so your story of how you guys met is really well known well documented and you talk about how you moved to Minnesota for a summer before you moved back to Sweden and yeah. that was the summer that I met you so I feel like I'm a part of your history <laughs> I know you really are actually a tiny bit wrong on the data what like, we actually moved to Sweden and then to Minnesota. Oh, you did? No, hang okay. on. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why am I correcting that? I'm ha- I don't even remember. No, no, no. I lived a whole year. That was the thing. A whole year in Minnesota. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, but that was the summer when I moved there. So, okay. That is minus so I'm like half wrong. Half wrong, half right. Half right, very right. <laughs> yeah. So, do you remember how we met? Yes, truly do. And it I was. Do too. I, I really do. I remember it very strongly. Uh, do you? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. I was. I remember. I, so it was an after bar. So I was at my my friend at the time. We were at his house. I think yeah. Cole's friend lived next door. I don't remember his exactly. name. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then I remember walking in. We had been like, you know, drinking all night. And then I walked in and I was like, there's this gorgeous couple just sitting here like playing music and singing. I was like, what the fuck did I just walk into? Like, <laughs> I was like, who are these people? Yeah, you were like the sweetest, like just coolest looking chick. And I was like, I need to get to know you. So I felt the same thing. I was like, 
book is that gorgeous human about Whatever. you? Like, honestly, I was like, whoa, like, oh, it was so fun. It was great. Mm-hmm. I, I loved it. It was a great night. It, I felt we really clicked right away. Mm-hmm. And also so weird because it feels like we have not talked to each other for so many years. Right. Uh, like this one-on-one. And it just feels kind of, I kind of feel just natural. Like it's so weird. Like some people you just click so hard that you just, it just feels like you've hung out with them your whole life and feel very comfortable with. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, yeah. And it's interesting, too, because even when we met and hung out, like you told me your story about how you guys met and like you told me a bunch of other stuff and I've just always retained it, which yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. So even with that, it's kind of weird because sometimes I'm yeah. like, wait, what did I do yesterday? But <laughs> like, I remember your entire origin story. And yeah, so you're, you're very special to me. So anyway, this is so cool <laughs> that it's happening. Oh, thanks. Um, but even like just watching you guys blow up because I think you were like relatively unknown when I met you guys, right? I, yeah, we were really just a little bit, prop, not maybe a few here, a little fan base, obviously. So. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I think I remember you saying that did, wasn't it like X Factor or there were some shows that like contacted you guys because they loved your story, but you're like, no, we don't want to be part of it. Exactly. It was, was it American Idol. No, could it be? No, there you don't do two people. Oh, well, one of those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they had like this very thick contract and all. Thank God, oh. some things like, what if we had done that? God knows what it would happen. Like, it just like sometimes, I don't know, like, yeah, life steers you in certain ways. And mm-hmm. even if some, some decisions are hard to make, because obviously at the time we didn't have that much going on. So like, that is kind of cool. But then I'm like, nah, I don't know. You know, yeah. something like the gut tells you don't do that. And sometimes sure. you follow it, sometimes you don't. So we did. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's important to follow your intuition for sure. Yeah. Because you guys are very like, you're not like cookie cutter or anything like that. I can't imagine you like working for Disney or anything like that. No, no, not really. I mean, yeah. I would not mind a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my life. It's very simple. We have a toddler. <laughs> I would watch. Yeah. Oh, oh, that would be fun. Oh, yeah. yeah it's been really interesting for me to watch you guys you know like get more and more famous and like obviously like gain more success um so what has that journey been like for you like talking to you I'm like okay you still seem like the same sweet humble girl that I met years ago so I'm glad that you know you haven't let fame go to your head but how has that journey been for you I it's been really like crazy I mean crazy like yeah. I think like we've always thought that I mean, we we wanted to do music, like no matter what, yeah. like that that was gonna be the thing, always. So, yeah, just when you kind of don't, it just so weird how you think you just can't give things up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I'm gonna try to answer this, but uh, like, it's just been crazy that actually it it went uh, that we we could do that or that it we could you know do music. Uh, uh, and not do other things like really freaking cool first like unbelievable but also believable because kind of when you believe in yourself that this is what we want to do I feel Mm -hmm. like yeah that's what I wanted to get to like crazy like some things were like (laughs) whoa what is this is this really happening in the beginning it was just just wild 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 things and and then I was like wow it just yeah but also like Maybe the thing with working on music for a longer time and and with Cole, maybe you kind of, you have had your struggles and stuff here and there. Maybe that's what makes some people more grounded, I guess, than if one would say grounded. But also, like, I just feel like I would never be able to lose this respect and and feelings I have for other humans because I've always tried to treat humans good. Because why not yeah. <laughs> so just don't understand why not <laughs> you know like yeah yeah, Cash, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hope that answered the questions i can get like woo something so no that- no i hey i'm here for woo woo. i'm here for all of it <laughs> but no i know you you said like you know there was really no other option other than doing music so yeah yeah yeah, that felt, yeah like the thing good <laughs> so do you get recognized well, yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah, actually. That's what I said to Cole. Like, you know, like, not that one has to, but one day I was like, you're really going to wear that? <laughs> oh, 
just what if was like, oh my gosh. And we run to this random spot with like kids things. And it was just like literally like five people that recognized that I told you. So he did change his clothes. Not that clothes as important, but to me, I kind of, I really like clothes and stuff. Yeah. I think it just kind of images my inside very much. Like I feel mm-hmm. like I'm expressing my trueness. You know what I mean? Like everybody feels probably this very similar way, but like if I'm not fulfilling what I'm feeling inside, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it has to be the nicest clothes or all, but just so I feel like myself. Uh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> well, and I feel like you guys always look really cool, like your image. Oh. So yeah. Is it hard to keep that up? Like, do you feel like you have to, I know it's, I know that you enjoy dressing up, but do yeah. you feel like you have to like, look good? Cause I saw a picture of you at the playground yeah. and I was like, of course you're like looking fierce as fuck at the playground. That's the funny thing because I actually thought about that, that, um, I was talking to my sister. I was like, mm-hmm. damn, like since I became a mom, it, like all of my clothes, most of my clothes, okay, I have like random t-shirts and shit, but all of my clothes are like stage clothes. And then I'm oh. like, either I just, not stage, but they're all, all but very much or very my, my taste. Not, yeah, not necessarily very much, but like, and, and then, yeah, I was like, this is all I have, and this is what I'm going to wear to the playground. So sometimes I just come in the most crazy shit, and then I'm thinking the parents. And it is what it is. It just, yeah, that's the clothes I own, and that's the style I have. Yeah, I don't feel like I have to keep it up, but I feel like that's what I have, and what what I would buy. So I just, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's so strange. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you always look really cool. Uh... So yeah, you're a mom now. Yeah. She's so cute. She's going to be what, three? Yeah, in November. That's crazy. Is she a Scorpio? Yeah, I was just going to say she's a Scorpio. Ooh. God bless you. <laughs> That's got to be intense. <laughs> I mean, whatever we want to believe about science and stuff, it's kind of accurate, man. Um, especially on her. She's just so determined. Yeah. And like Scorpio and Pisces go very well together. So call this a sp- Pisces. So what they are you? Like, I'm, I'm an Aquarius. So you and me go 100% oh, yes, right. together. I couldn't remember. And I was actually looking at your Facebook because I was yeah. like, I don't remember when her birthday is. But yeah, okay. That's- yeah. Air sign, so, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, but she, yeah, she's so determined. I was just like, whoa. Yeah, this is, it is. <laughs> this uh, roller coaster. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. So mm-hmm. yeah. How did you pick the name Rocker? Actually, we were on tour and um, I've never really like, I didn't know if I really wanted to become a biological mom ever. Okay. So, but then one day I was like, maybe one, because I always had a dream and I still have a dream of adopting a lot of kids. Like that's how I mm-hmm. saw myself, adopting yeah. a little bit older kids, you know, like mm-hmm. that's just, and which made sense because I realized that actually like. I really love babies and I think they're like the cutest thing on earth, but I am more of a, like a little bit bigger kid's yeah. mom. <laughs> like, you know, if it, yeah. because some people like, don't you miss that stage? I was like, Oh, oh <laughs> like, no, no. I, don't. I actually don't. <laughs> and I mean, I, I think it's cute when I look at photos or, or like when I hold other people's babies, I love it. It's not that I don't, but yeah. just I like the, the thing when they can say things and like, I want that or mm-hmm. give me water. I don't know. Uh, they have more they have more oh god i can't talk they have more of a personality yeah and i yeah. Uh, and it's, it's i think that is so much easier and other people have said like oh but the first year is just so easy they sleep on uh, <laughs> my year was like what the fuck did i do to myself <laughs> like this yeah. is like it did, i mean i would do this a hundred times for a rocker a million times yeah and, until the day of my death because i love yeah. her beyond but that stage i thought it never that was the longest year of my freaking life not to scare you but it was <laughs> it was just like uh what is this yeah. so picked long story short so we were on tour and i'm like if i'm gonna have a biological kid because mm-hmm. i was actually thinking of doing like surrogacy i didn't want to go through with any of this pregnancy well, then i don't blame <laughs> you who would want to like it's not like yeah. some, no actually some people do want to i and i respect those women and i think it's great but i didn't want to yeah. like that you know wasn't my thing really and then then uh, and then so we were on tour and i'm, like, oh, I'm gonna find a name and, and look like for three no every time i would be on tour for some other reason i would look for a name and mm-hmm. then one day we went to this uh, radio promo and this guy 
had had a kid. And I was like, what's, what's the kid's name? And he said, Walker. And I thought he said Rocker. And I was like, that Rocker, that's the coolest name. I might, I might steal that. He's like, no, no, Walker. Said, Walker is also cool. And then I went to call and I was like, I got the baby in it. And that was like three years before she was four years. Maybe. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she, oh, it was wow. decided. It doesn't matter if it was a... I wanted it to be a girl because I thought, felt like Rocker would fit better for a girl. Otherwise, sounds a little bit... Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I love that. That's so cool. And was he was he on board when he heard it? Oh, he loved it. He loved it. It was yeah. it was just so nice. We both were like, that's the name. Oh my god. That's yeah. so cool. So I know that you said you haven't like toured in a while, but as far as like the creative process, like how has it been balancing being a rock star and having your little rocker now? <laughs> Basically, oh my gosh, really hard actually. I mean yeah. Like because yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Only because uh sorry. Um only because like <laughs> some Swedish <laughs> things. <laughs> Normal. You guys can go. Um just like <laughs> because she actually doesn't go to daycare yet. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like babysitter sitter or us all the yeah. time. And actually babysitter would mostly be my mom. Uh because she, yeah, I don't know. She's short, so she's always been around, but we have a little bit of a system now. So we have okay. like, like Cole takes her one night. I take, I mean, we have every other morning and every other night. So if one of us works later, mm -hmm. then, and has, you know, you get it like, yeah, if it's my night, then it's not my morning and the other. Sure. <laughs> so it's like that, which is fantastic. And I, I think that's, that I would really recommend that to, to anybody that have kids because even if they, like want to be more with their mom, even though they like Rocker really likes both of us. I mean, the one she gets attention from, she's just happy. But uh, <laughs> but she's somehow like I think it's maybe to do with the breastfeeding thing. Like she mm -hmm. wants this thing, like stuff. But we've been really strict, like uh, every other night. So yeah, it's been great, like like that. So we make it work. So we have a lot of new songs and material coming out actually pretty soon. So. Yeah. 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 Um I saw on your Facebook you said that you're going to I mean the English translation was a little weird but are yeah. you doing like a music festival next month? Actually no, it's just we have we have we have not gigged. We have said no to everything because we felt like in the beginning when we were pregnant or when I was pregnant when they say we just basically me but <laughs> so um it, we just like thought, okay, so as soon because it was COVID. Also, this is the craziest thing though, because we we <laughs> were like, ah, maybe we should give it a shot. Yeah, try to have a baby, and then mm. and then uh, it actually happened really fast. So so it was we were gonna do a very long tour, mm -hmm. and I was pregnant and I didn't know it, and obviously because I am a little bit HGG actually, I was like, I'm gonna sit here and do a Zoom call and do a pregnancy test at the same freaking hour. Who does that? And, call and then I'm like, oh, like, oh, oh God, oh shit! And and then it was yeah, and it was COVID before they shut down, and then you start thinking, shit, am I allowed to go somewhere? Is this because in the beginning nobody knew what the heck it was, like, right? Like it was creepy for a really right. long time. And then three days later or something, the whole world shut down. So perfect timing to have a kid, I guess. But also for very lonely. Yeah. yeah. Sorry for, for the the railing on the thought, but what was the question? I can what did we talk about? It was Oh, I just yeah, I oh, saw something did. on your face. Yeah. Yeah, so we thought yeah. that we're gonna be able to just tour when she's like about six months, it's gonna be easy. Uh or then we were like, oh God, we can never leave her. Maybe she has to come everywhere. But how yeah. do you bring a small baby on the tour bus and stuff? So, we, so we've so we gotten like a lot of offers. Actually, we've said no to everything. So mm -hmm. we felt like we start saying yes to certain things. And it feels like we're picking certain things. Right. But now we have like a gig at my in my hometown because this guy there has been literally writing us every day for like a year and <laughs> It. we have a babysitter my mom is there that's great so we're gonna do it it's gonna be i feel a little bit excited i feel like ready to get back on doing tours and stuff again actually i feel i miss it i miss the yeah and now she's old 
So, yeah. <laughs> All right. I always love when I see like little babies and they have like the kind of like this, like they have like the little like, you know, not headphones, but like, you know, the big like thing. Oh, good, noise. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I always think that's so cute. So I can picture yeah. her being there, but you said that she's not going to come. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But I feel like if she comes to there, she's going to be like, I want to be there. I want right. to go on stage. I want to <laughs> sing, you know. Which she can. I mean, I would love her too. But, but, but like, I feel like she would just probably cry and want to be up there too and hang out. You know? Oh, yeah. I think she would get you know, Scorpio jealous out. So. <laughs> <laughs> she totally would. Yeah. She would oh, my gosh. Um, so do you do you ever get, like, stage fright when you're playing these big shows? Because, like, like I said, I was, like, researching and, like, refreshing my memory. Yep. And I'm, like, watching, like, I can't remember which video it is, but like you were playing at Red Rocks, and I'm like, oh, look at that crowd. Like, I would be so nervous, but I'm assuming it's exciting for you. Yeah, I feel like I feel a little bit of nervous feelings, like ex- excited, nervous, but it kind of goes away. It's just so strange. Like, I kind of like it. It's a little bit of an adrenaline kick. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like Cole could be more nervous than me in the really? morning before. Yeah. Okay. But I'm like, ah. It's what it is. We're just gonna try it out. <laughs> no, but I feel, I feel like, yeah, I like it. I think it's a lot my thing actually. That I find it fun. And well, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that would suck if you did get nervous. But, um, it would yeah. make your job really hard. Um, so I kind of yeah. wanted to ask you about the creative process. So, mm-hmm. how do you feel about like? AI. I feel like everyone that listens to my podcast is yeah. probably like, stop asking everyone about this. But especially with you guys, yeah, like, is that scary to you that like AI can come in and like take your voice or like take your likeness and make some yeah. other songs? And you're like, that's not me. Yeah, and no, that's such a hard thing to to actually like. I mean, we've seen some AI covers on on our music. Yeah, I mean, somehow, I mean, gosh, this is so hard. Like, because I don't really know. Like in the beginning, I was a little like oh god what the heck like this is you know like what a robot i I do feel like the way that i have used the ai of asking Mm -hmm. like what nutrition is because i'm super into nutrition and especially when you have a kid it's kind of helpful it's been helpful so i'm trying like it went from being scared to having it more like okay how could we humans utilize this in, in the future Though it does feel a little bit creepy that, like, somebody can just use your voice and do whatever with it, and also like these things of like, like I do find it creepy because if people would just, or I don't know how far this will probably go very far in so, but like if somebody would steal my voice, my speaking mm-hmm. voice, more more than mm-hmm. my singing voice, and say something crazy or something, you know, right. that you haven't said, that's a, like a little bit of a fear because people are crazy and no they're not but but some people are crazy some people are crazy <laughs> we all are a little bit crazy for god's sake i'm crazy sometimes and <laughs> that's a little bit creepy but i i just have to like in my brain to process it all i feel like i have to just like at night when i think about it, i'm just like okay what what can what will be good from this you know like mm-hmm. I mean, like i think it will be a tool for a lot of things in life i hope so anyways or we just have to shut the shit down. And, and <laughs> what do you think about it? I mean, to your point, yeah, like I've definitely used it for um, like writing prompts for my Instagram. Like yeah. instead of like sitting down and like writing out this whole caption, like I'll use AI for that. I just have seen so many, um, like I've seen like Drake, like there's been like Drake songs, like they're like, write a Drake song about this and like it'll come out. And I'm like, this is actually like not that bad. And so I've seen a lot of artists like kind of freak out about it. And they're like, you know, they're like ready to sue anyone that will like steal their likeness. So it's interesting to see how some people really embrace it. And they're like, I don't give a shit. And some people are like, "Uh, no, this is scary. Like they feel like it would take away their like artistic integrity. Yeah. Good point. Because if, yeah, just maybe, maybe I don't feel as strongly about it because it hasn't really happened because it's been like, (laughs) like, I mean, I feel bad for people like, I think doing like some strikes about like yeah, the industry exactly. that is kind of creepy I get it maybe man why is that so hard because my brain goes all over the place when I think about this it's yeah. just like maybe this could be bad but maybe it's bad maybe it's blah 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 but I think maybe we just need a little bit of adjustment time and see maybe rules and laws that says <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, I think when it comes down to it, like, like nothing can replace like what a like a no. real human, right? And like they need like AI needs us to like feed off of. That sounds creepy, but like, yeah, yeah they can't they can't learn anything without us putting out products. So like, I don't think it's ever going to replace us. Hopefully, like no. what you do and like what I do. So yeah, it's interesting. I feel like it can't. I really like as far but i was thinking was something crazy though about the ai which was what? which was was like i was like okay after i heard that some cover on 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 uh, i have not heard that drake song i must look at that i oh, this yeah. is strange because i'm not so plugged into stuff so sometimes cole is like because i don't watch like the news and stuff <laughs> like oh, I don't know very, no because or anything like I just, people either tell me when something horrible has happened, which is sad. Maybe it seems sad to some people, but I just, I get so very like emotionally drained by sad 100%. stuff. And I just, that takes off my whole day. Like, I'm the same way. Hurricane. Yeah. Like have, what are these, where are the wonderful, like, you know, it's just like, because mm -hmm. if there's also like, maybe, maybe one should watch the news more than I guess, but I, maybe no, they shouldn't, but like, Maybe it's because one doesn't watch the news so often it becomes so in your face because sometimes like yeah. when I've gone to my mom's and dad's place and they my dad always watches the news mm -hmm. and then it's like these numbers and everything becomes numbers. It doesn't become right. like, but this is actually humans that lost their life or their kid or this. It just becomes 150,000 people, you know, like it yeah. just becomes numbers. I, I don't like that by the way of looking at people. But anyways, um, but like, but that's the thing because I thought about like, there's a lot of recordings that we have mm -hmm. done with with us, uh, yeah. uh, interviews and shit, like any of things. Yeah. Um, and Cole and I are pretty good at, or actually Cole more than me, when we have serious conversations, mm -hmm. uh, he always, we, we both know, he always records it. Really? Yeah, we do it together. So we can just like, it's just good to know your thoughts and your process of things because we talk so much about like, about like, it's so like how to develop what do you call it like make yourself you know grow as a human like oh like yeah like self development like yeah and yeah. there's so many interesting thoughts when you're really literally sitting and talking about everything right uh, like so <laughs> <laughs> it sounds crazy but like you just get into so many deep subjects and and it's kind of fun to to just see like that that you know for the future i feel like it's a good thing that's interesting okay so I'm so curious. So you guys record all of your conversations. Is that not all <clears> our <throat> conversation, but a lot of conversations. those serious ones? Is that like, do you guys use that for like musical inspiration later on, or is it literally just like a development tool in your guys' relationship? Both, actually. Really? And also, so, so we remember what we because, like, we talk so much. Like we are yeah. basically with each other twenty four seven all the yeah. time. So when we hang out, like, okay, now we're gonna do this, and then. Uh, okay, let's start. Blah, 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 blah. And it's kind of fun. <laughs> it is great. And then, then we come back like a uh, long time after, and I'm like, wow, that's so freaking interesting. Like, yeah. you know, you forget certain, especially right. when it becomes comes like to how to become this more or this than that. It's kind of hard. Like, one forgets. <laughs> and totally. You to remember these things because mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, you need to hear it again, actually. I feel like one has to hear this. That's why also the talking about it is daily because I feel like you have to daily feed that part of your life. Otherwise, it's just can get a little bit, you know, go down, I think. I feel like I would be really petty if I was recording all my conversations. I'd be like, I didn't say that. I'd be like, actually, let me pull this up. You did. <laughs> I feel like I'd be petty about it. <laughs> that is actually never happened. But I think it's more in the setting of like, of talking about deep stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, and then if you accidentally leave it on, that's kind of fun. <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> Especially if you leave it on on times when you should not be. No, but uh, <laughs> no, okay. That's it. But like, it, it is fun. I feel like, I feel like it's a, a good, I mean, I wish I could hear my mom and dad. Wouldn't yeah. you want to? Like, like just yeah. see what their thoughts were at your age at the time or whatever. Like, just they're also like the way they're trying to figure shit out before yeah. they takes over the world is like, like you know 
Yeah, that's actually interesting. Yeah. Mm, I love that. Um, so you said that Cole is more like tapped into like whatever is going on in the world. So yeah. when you guys are recording or if you're like in the creative process, like, all right, we're going to mm-hmm. make an album. I've heard a lot of musicians, they like refuse to listen to any other any other music and just focus on what they're doing. Are you guys yeah. like that? Or can you listen to anyone? Actually, uh, both, I would say. Mm-hmm. I mean, we tend to listen to certain kind of music, um, like classical music or like some kind of stuff like that. Mm-hmm. more that is kind of okay it feels yeah. okay to do that and also actually other people's music and stuff but but it, mostly that's what we listen to a lot Classical, listen, yeah and, or we listen to our own playlist that we made with favorite artists mm-hmm. and that feels okay yeah yeah, it's both <laughs> <laughs> that's good um do you feel like more pressure i feel like let me back up so i feel like when a lot of people are starting out and they're doing it for fun and like, I love doing this. But once you kind of become famous and people are putting pressure on you, like, does it become less fun? Is it harder for you to tap into that creativity? No, I think actually no, because like, I like since I was very small, I've always had music always going in my head. Like I'm not talking other people's music. I'm just like, no, that is, it's like a machine of, always <laughs> and so funny because i i told my sister i was like oh you know that thing like when you're you don't just this song like melodies in your head then they just keep on going and they never stop so like, i don't have that i don't mm-hmm. either that we don't have that why what you don't <laughs> i thought everybody had that i never asked anybody so i just thought that was a natural thing like everybody yeah. had this in their head so mm-hmm. i feel like those are always there yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. Yeah, um, it sounds good, schizophrenic, but it's not. <laughs> it <doesn't laughs> it's it's a kind of a. It just like and it, it, yeah, it is like weird. It just all this. It, it. I'm not saying like maybe I'm not trying to say oh I'm special for having that but at all, but but I feel like I I feel like it's cool that I, that mm-hmm. that is always there and that 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 is an un- endless like. Yeah. Dream there. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, like focusing on lyrics and stuff, I have to really feel feel it. But the melodies mm-hmm. is a little bit more blah, 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 or, or but but the, the lyrics <laughs> I have to just kind of build up some feeling in it that has to blow up and become this thing. Yeah. So yeah, no, actually, no. Short answer, long answer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm happy that that hasn't like affected anything i know i was kind of curious because i feel like your all of your guys music is so like full of emotion and it's so it's almost like some of them are almost like melancholy they're all just very beautiful so i'm like do you guys ever just like sit down and listen to like britney spears or just like some bullshit pop music yeah 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 totally you do yeah yeah who do you like i I mean i would listen to actually anything yeah but i feel like in our music Maybe we just, yeah, I, I heard that somewhere. I was like, yeah, Nicole said that to me. Like, some of your ideas are always so sad. But I actually don't feel that sad inside. But I just feel like maybe it's expression. Maybe that's why I'm not sad. I make literally express You get it out. Yeah, I get it out. Yeah. yeah. And it's like a therapy thing. So maybe that's why I'm like, what? Really? That's not a sad song. Though. I think it, but sometimes the melodies are kind of sad. It just gets to me a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting yeah 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 but we we do listen to all kinds i mean we even listen to like country music like who do you like this i don't know drinking i think <laughs> like any 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 um let me see any song i know no they have just random country music like yeah. old pe- people's country music <laughs> what's old people's country music no <laughs> I should not mention any names because maybe that's not, but to me, it's like old people. You mean like old school, like just from like a long time ago? Yeah, or... maybe, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. A bit. No, it's not that long time ago, but it feels like t- typical classical, not classical, but this very, very country. Okay. Like, I'm wearing my blue jeans, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and walking down the street, I meet my buddy, we drink some beer, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> that's like every country song ever you're so right <laughs> right on the dirt road is everything is about blue jeans 
<laughs> drinking beer, like riding my horses. My woman, or, my woman left me. Yeah. But it's kind of cozy, like just to that or like any, I mean, like hip hop, super Britney Spears. How could you not listen to Britney Spears and dance? I mean, come on. I was I like, know. I was called Britney Spears, one of you. Uh, yeah, once. Oh, I was so old back then. Okay. <laughs> no. What did you say you were like, called? What did you, you say? You were called Britney Spears? Britney Spears wannabe. Oh, Britney Spears wannabe. I had like bangs and very blonde hair. Have you oh, seen oh me like that, Rebecca? No. I remember you have, the only time I remember you having blonde hair was when you had like your cute little bob. No. I don't remember oh you having long. I'm going to send you a photo later. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's great. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, I used to be very blonde at some point. I mean, I'm talking, I could do my own blonde hair. I like you colored that. you colored your hair yourself? Yeah, yeah. I was great. Really? And imagine like okay now I, I I do have a little bit darker, but like like it, I've colored it a little bit darker, but mm-hmm. but I used to bleach it really, really good my own. And every time I would go to a hairdresser, and maybe it was because I'm from a small time town, it's yeah. just that like, my hair would fall off. I had this whole thing. Like I don't know how the heck I did that, but I did it. <laughs> it yeah, was I was great. like, I could never do that. I would be yeah, I would be bald again for sure yeah. if I tried to color my own hair. That's that's the thing. I, I I would be that if I did that now, but then I did. It was great. Well, I always love watching your hair evolution. Your hair always looks good. Well, like when I used to have a, a, a short hair blonde, mm-hmm. that was always a wig. So that was kind of oh nice. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I just um, different kinds actually, different lengths, different styles, but they were always look kind of similar. Uh, yeah, they kind of look kind of real. Actually, nobody really tr- thought that. Nobody ever said that. Even I, I like, didn't. I didn't know it was a wig. I was like, I "Wow, her hair grew really fast. What's her secret?" I, I isn't that so strange? Not once did anybody say, "Is this your real hair?" I just thought it was so freaking odd to me, obviously because I was putting it on. But yeah, like, yeah, so strange. Yeah, it must have been a good wig. It was. It was an amazing wig. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a random question, but um, when I was looking at your guys' website, I saw like all the merch that you have. Do you get to de- like design that and like specifically yes, like, specify? Yeah, like what like what some you have? Because I was like, I don't think I've ever seen like underwear with like a track list on it. Okay. You know. Well, actually, yeah. I mean, we we it's more like the now we have more time. Obviously, yeah. back then it was just more like. One doesn't have that much time to do all the things because we were always on tour or like doing radio things. Uh, yeah. But now I, I feel like I just um, want to do certain merch with uh, mm-hmm. a little bit uh, totally my feel on it or our feel. But yeah, I'll probably have more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like I think it's time. It's just like, yeah, now, now it's easier, I think, with more and less time. But, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys came out with your own clothing line. That would be so, oh my gosh. That would be so, so freaking fun. I would really just, love that. I just feel like, damn, there's so much clothes out there already. <laughs> but, but I know, I know that there is. But I'm like, you guys could totally do it. Yeah, that would be fun. I would want to do that with my sister, actually. <laughs> Which, yeah, because your sister, uh, didn't she work for Acne? Yeah. 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 Does, she, does she still? yeah she actually does but just really like a little bit yeah but um she wears something like on the head of office uh and yeah just a, sometimes when she feels like it which is great i have like way too much acne. i mean my whole my whole wardrobe is basically acne because for obvious reasons i actually yeah. worked at acne also for a little bit after we came home from sweden from Star- you did? yeah and so did cole Really? Two weekends and yeah, two weekends a month each we would work there. And you can just imagine the tons and tons of clothes we would I would buy from them. Just have two two cool I feel like it's like it's a Swedish brand also, so but yeah, I love it. I love acting actually. Um, no. I love everything in Sweden. I'm so sad I didn't get to see you when I came to visit. Where were you? Where was I? Was I had I just been pregnant or had a baby? No, was God, it? when was it? It was like six years ago. I think I was there. Oh, but were we here then? We cannot have been here. I think you were. I don't no. remember. I but um, one of my favorite things in Sweden okay. was the Vasa. Have you ever been there? 
it was a museum, no? Yeah. The museum thing? Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah. So cool. I think it's so cool. I like, I I'm obsessed with it. I, I like still follow them on Instagram and every time it comes up, I'm like, that is so cool. <laughs> you have to come back. I know. I, you have to. To. I love Sweden. Then you have, we really have to hang out uh, now. Like, yeah, but yeah, it, it is right. It's a good country. It just, it's, it's kind of nice. It's Honestly, beautiful. I can see why people from Sweden like came to Minnesota. Like the the vibe is very similar. It was funny. Like the hotel that we stayed at, there was like a little newspaper that they gave everyone, and it was talking about the people in Sweden. And they're like, they're really nice, but they might not smile a lot. And I was like, oh my god, Minnesota, like very similar. But no, I loved I loved it there so much. I thought the energy was really good. Like there's something about it that was just very uplifting. And I thought to myself, does depression even exist here? Like I know it does. Every, it exists everywhere but there's something really like magical about it there it is i mean i feel like everything is kind of like equal between men women and everything is kind of equal mm-hmm. yeah i cannot i can like that you know like it's not just i don't know i think it's important uh, so everything is really equal for everybody and, and nobody has like mm, it's not so much judgment especially that is talking at least towards anything right. or anybody you know like mm-hmm. you sell whatever the heck you are but like that's kind of the mentality i like that when you just just let people be whatever they want without mm-hmm. walking on and be judgmental of whatever people want to do for themselves or wear or be or whatever like i, I kind of think it's really important so I, I really like that that a lot so. where has <laughs> um where's been your favorite place that you've toured to Wow, gosh, there's so many because, like, especially like going from Sweden and going to different places. Mm-hmm. And America is so freaking big, so it's like basically a different country. Every state feels like a diff, totally different yeah. thing. Like, wow, like <laughs> I actually really like the South because I felt like people were super nice a lot. Yeah, like, people are super nice down here. Yeah, like super sweet. I felt like it was just a good vibe. Uh, it also felt like, which is strange because when you look at, if you look at stuff that people say like, oh, but the South are so judgmental and stuff, but I never experienced that. Like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't. Maybe it was because we were in bigger flat now. It just felt really nice. And like, hello, mommy, mom, what do you, I don't know, just sweet. I like this, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> like hey sweetie you want some moonshine no um i feel like if you go to like a small town like most places obviously i think that's probably where it's gonna be more like judgmental and, yeah. and weird but yeah. yeah but i mean that's also small towns here in sweden too it can also be that probably like yeah i feel yeah I feel like you say every small time town is like, every small town house there are people that are like that not everybody sure. small time is like that but you know yeah, yeah. um so going back to like social media and all that good stuff, do you ever get annoyed or like stressed out when everyone is like, where's your new music? When are you touring? Cause I feel like every time you do post something, I feel like that's like most of the comments. It's like, we miss you. When are you coming back? Are you like, please chill? I mean, I, I kinda, I kinda understand it because like, that's what I would feel too, yeah. you know? So actually, no, I actually feel more like, yeah, I just want to get certain things truly done and to the point where one feels satisfied with it, which I am mm-hmm. really bad at that. I just never really feel that. <laughs> like, it takes me a very long time, so I have to just give it up and, and like, it's time. Um, but, like, I get it. I actually truly understand that feeling. I, I mean, I've felt that feeling about, about uh, music or artists. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I get it. I know a lot of people have like shortened attention spans. So, is there anything that you guys do to like try to keep your audience engaged with you? Like, are you are you are you ever worried about that? Like, oh, they're gonna like lose interest or anything like that? Like, how do you stay popular these days? Exactly, that's a good question. And you know? I feel like right, but <laughs> I feel like I um yeah, I'm just like I'm really bad at posting and stuff like. I I don't know just I don't know why so that that I really feel like I lack like I'm like nah it just no I don't want to be in that photo or something like I just have yeah. like this 
don't know what anything yeah i don't know why like but i do feel like one should be more um uh, engaging when we were on tour and stuff it was more of a automatic thing for somehow yeah. you know like you were already doing that in that life and i would go live a lot uh, mm -hmm. after shows and stuff and and engage a lot um but now yeah, i feel it's important actually because that's how how people engage with you i guess not it it becomes a little bit more old school like <laughs> back, back no i mean old. obviously you I think you guys are really unique, so I don't oh. think there's a lot of, especially because no. you guys are married and everything, like there's just not a lot of people out there like you. So I think it works in your favor that you are unique, but um, is it up to you or Cole? Like, how do you guys divvy up? Like who posts anything? Like, is it strategic on your part? Or are you just like, go with the it's flow? It's actually a zero strategy in it. Really? It's, yeah. Actually, it's just mostly like, all right, yeah, I'm going to post something. You choose something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before, uh, like, I had a point, mom goes back to certain things. I think it's also the part of, like, becoming a mom and in, in and a pair, uh, both of us being parents. Mm -hmm. Just, like, so freaking, I do recommend it. I'm not saying not to recommend it, but it just takes so much energy. It's just so much shit. Like, you have to make a functional human here. You Not just, like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna you're going to raise somebody that becomes okay in their brain like that it feels like a responsibility right. you know like you want yeah to it's a huge responsibility <laughs> like you just don't want to do like random mistakes oh my gosh my mom did this therefore i'm this i'm like so you know so i feel like yeah. it's a lot of responsibility so yeah like, right like and also like oh they have to well yeah so i feel like that is taking a lot of time now she's getting older so now i'm like more like she seems kind of fine and it's just gonna be fine <laughs> <laughs> but then you still have like, things also yeah i feel like i was just too dedicated on on so many i mean i feel like i lost a lot of at least during those two years a lot of my other things like nothing really mattered like yeah just make a healthy eating everything human here but yeah yeah <laughs> but i think that took so much time but i feel like more and more that I'm more more focused on on the other part now too. So, yeah, cool. But I do want to write a children's book with how kids should eat because I'm so very good at that. Like, oh yeah, as you said, you're really into nutrition. Um, yeah, extreme, so, like to so, the borderline creepy. It's a little bit too much at times. I don't think it's creepy. I'm very into nutrition. So like, what do you what do you feed your daughter then? Oh, well, I always have like uh, she's not a vegetarian or a vegan or anything, and um, mainly because I feel like. At least, even though I'm, I love cooking. Like I really think that's that's one of my biggest passions after music. Like it's cooking, one of them. So yeah, so uh, yeah, I love it so much, and I'm actually pretty freaking good at it. But but <laughs> but, yeah, but and I but I feel like with a small child, I just that goes back to that thing of I don't really know what you know. Like I feel like she needs a lot of stuff, a lot, and they eat so very little. So you have to pack up all the nutritions in the world in one mm -hmm. meal but yeah. she's she's basically very very different things um she loves vegetables and fruits like the, i mean mm -hmm. if i show her anything she would always go for the vegetables and fruits first mainly i, I know crazy uh, uh and i had like this thing when i didn't this on me i don't recommend this so don't take this recommendations but i just <laughs> gave her mostly like vegetables and mm -hmm. protein and and other fruits but not so much uh, no no fruits in the beginning because i just wanted mm -hmm. her to really like vegetables yeah. and not go for just a banana which is also freaking great so but uh, in the beginning so um so, and then she loves salmon she loves shrimp salmon i, I know she loves like sauerkraut fermented oh, sauerkraut. What? like if we say oh you're gonna have sauerkraut she's like <gasps> freaks out of, out of happiness because she wow. just gets a certain amount of sauerkrauts because you should not eat too much sauerkraut uh, and, yeah. uh, but it's really good for your gut bacteria so she mm -hmm. loves that she loves olives uh, and she would basically eat oh, anything but then there's days when she just doesn't want anything but that's everybody I guess but yeah, yeah. so a lot of I mean vegetables like I make her 
a snack plate, as we call it. So I cut up all these vegetables, mm-hmm. that whole freaking plate, and she eats everything, like every freaking thing on that plate. It's just crazy. That's her snack time. <laughs> yeah. That's so good, though. I know. I feel like, you know, that feels good. Like, she likes it, and that's good for her life to like vegetables. I love vegetables. I do too. Um, Also, I know, I mean, obviously I don't have a kid, but I know that it's so good for their behavior too. Yeah, it is, huh? That I didn't know. Oh yeah. So like, I mean, obviously I'm sure overall everyone eats more healthy over there, but here there's so many kids that have like ADHD and it's like, okay, what are you feeding your kids? And it's like, you know, like soda, candy, like carbs. And it's like, well, no wonder they're like fucking bouncing off the walls, you know? That is, that is actually because like, I feel like even when Rocco gets, like, when if I eat food, I can, if I eat too much food, I'm going to, like, oh, I just want to lay here. But she, yeah. like, kids get energy. I feel like when she's eating her meal, she's like, no matter what it is, if, it, if it's just vegetables and fish, mm-hmm. say, and she's like, ah, all full of energy already. After yeah, that. right. So, so, yeah, like, soda is a very no no. I feel guilty when, when I give her juice too often. If I've, I've gone to a restaurant and she really loves uh, orange juice. And uh, I, I'm like, <laughs> I, I, that's my, I feel like that. But she does actually get to eat ice cream and stuff like on Saturdays. In Sweden, we have like this candy day in Sweden. So all kids know that on Saturdays you get to eat candy and stuff. So you have one Saturdays, like, Saturdays candy day? Yeah. Yeah. Like whatever, like sweets and stuff. Can, uh-huh. plus ice cream. Yeah. So she, she does get that. And here and there. It happens that she gets an ice cream, especially in the summer. But it's yeah. not if I've given her ice cream twice that week. I'm like, okay, that's a little bit too much for ice cream. Like, but then I do <laughs> healthy ice cream. So we, she's like, can I have an ice cream? I'm like, no, 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 it's not Saturday. Can I have mango ice cream? Yes, yes. So I just take some mangoes, mix it up, mm-hmm. serve dried mango ice cream. So, so like, it's amazing. Yeah, it frees everything. Like I, today, I made her a smoothie with like. Do you know, like, what are those called in English? I don't know. Is this, like, super healthy fruit that is super high in iron? Uh, in iron. Yeah, it's like mulberries. Mulberries. Oh, okay. Yeah. So dried mulberries, I soak them overnight so they become soft. And I put them in a smoothie with, like, all kinds of stuff that I find, vegetables or fruits. And then she's like, oh, milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's actually good for you. Um, yeah. So what, what's your, like, signature dish that you like cooking? very much into like chinese food like, really yeah like authentic chinese food so yeah anything like that or like korean food i like i love korean like, food uh, isn't that a freaking amazing it's so good oh the best um and then just i am i'm really great at tacos but in with a very much of a twist like taco with a twist i don't know how to explain it but you have to just come to dinner and you'll be like wow this is freaking amazing I'm bugging my flight right now. Let's go. You should. Okay, anything you want. And I'm re- really good at like replicating. Like if we were just something amazing at a restaurant, I'm yeah. so good at replicating what we ate. So I love doing that. Like, but yeah. Yeah. That's, I love cooking so much. I think it's great. Yeah. Everybody's like, start in a restaurant. That is not my dream. I just like cooking for other people for fun. It's just writing a children's book, starting a clothing line, <laughs> going on tour again. Adopting yes. a bunch of kids. Older kids. That's Older easier. kids. Older kids. Three, from two and a half to up. That's a 15-year-old. I don't care. Just like <laughs> <laughs> bigger kids. Yeah. That's so funny. So yeah. do you guys have like a date of when your new music is going to come out? Actually, very soon, I think. Maybe very. Like, is it maybe? In- Maybe like if, man, I should not say it. Maybe in September. Yeah, September. Think, yeah. Next month. Maybe yeah. Okay. Yeah. A hard maybe. A hard maybe. Yeah, but yeah, I actually think so. Exciting. Yeah, I just <laughs> have a hard time to like remember dates and stuff. Like I don't know. Like I just like, oh, we're gonna do this then. I'm like, oh. Okay, then then comes and like oh we're gonna do it. oh shoot like if it's not like somebody has to kind of remind me or i have to have a reminder on it like, ah that's what we're gonna do okay. 
trips out a little bit. But I guess it is what it is. Maybe my okay. mom didn't give me enough vegetables. No, she did. She actually did. <laughs> HDHD. <laughs> okay, so oh. promo, new music coming soon. We don't know when. Maybe next month. We don't know. Maybe next next month. Month, yeah. Maybe next month. Okay. I think so, actually, yeah. I have to oh, ask Cole to see when I need him. This is funny. It's so funny because <gasps> like he is so good at like like he's more like when he when he speaks, he's very like formulates things very well. I always get like mm-hmm. how because in my head I do hear it like that. I do. And this makes very much sense. But then when it tries to come out, it's like I'm like wait, wait, wait. That just oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> so I have to clarify. No, it just doesn't sound. They will not understand what the heck you're saying. So no, I get it. That's that's yeah. the Aquarius in you. It's all good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So so when he's not out here balancing me, it just becomes a little bit more fluffy. I like it though. Just it is what it is, man. We're two air signs. We're just floating around. We're just talking about whatever. You know? that one day we will all be dead. And what the heck? Who cares? <laughs> just as long as you enjoy your life and did what you wanted to do, I think. So what what one wants to do and not listen to other people. I feel it's important. For sure. I have nothing else matters. I don't hurt people always. always. Yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to talk about? I can't believe we're almost at an hour. That was so fast. Really? Oh my gosh. I mean, I we can to... we can still talk after we like, you know, after oh, our yeah. first talk. Okay, cool. But yeah. is there anything else you want to talk about? I have one last question for you, if not. Do it. Okay. I mean, this is kind of a joke because I've heard you talk about it in other interviews, but um, you always said that you would tell someone the meaning of Flora Cash, the meaning behind it at the end of an interview. So mm-hmm. seeing as how it's the end of this interview, are you going to tell me the meaning behind it? I'm kidding. You don't have to. I know. <laughs> I can't hear you. No, I'm AI is coming over. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. I was just an AI all this time. No, uh, <laughs> so uh, no uh, actually, no, I think... I feel like now we got to keep it a secret to play the okay. because obviously because we tell so much about our lives and for like sure. we're kind of open about stuff like in interviews when we talk about personal life of oh we do this, or we fight this and stuff so I feel like ah you gotta and, keep one thing for yourself yeah yeah, yeah. well one day one day maybe I had to <laughs> I had to try I had to ask I knew I was gonna get shot down but I was like I gotta ask so. I love that you tried though that's a good <laughs> That's it's never been done before. <laughs> That's <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But like, yeah, maybe I'll tell you. Yeah, once I hang <laughs> up, maybe you'll tell me. I'm just yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so appreciative for your time, and it was so good to catch up with you. Um, I'm super stoked for your guys' new music and for you to like get back out there. So, where can people follow you and find you if they're not already following you? Instagram or YouTube, I would say it's okay. uh, the. Give us a call on zero. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, so yeah, actually, mainly there. That's okay. I mean, I I hang out on Instagram more than I post on Instagram. I should think about that a little bit. But you guys have um, like on your website, you have like a newsletter. Is that where people can like figure out where you're? Okay, like let's say you decide to go on tour, or you're gonna like drop an album. Like, who would hear about it first? Website, like newsletter people, or Instagram, YouTube. Probably be both actually. Then okay. all three. It's probably okay. going to be all three at the okay. kind of similar time. Okay. Perfect. I probably do it, but you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, but all three. I would say. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That's, you know, Instagram is the place where we mostly hang, or me more mm-hmm. than cult. I know it's and, funny whenever I whenever I message you, I'm like, I don't yeah. know if it's gonna be like you answering or Cole or. <laughs> it's mostly me. Like, okay, I figured, yeah, but yeah, but Cole I figured, is also I figured Cole isn't in my DMs telling me that I'm beautiful, so I'm like, this oh. got to be her. I was always thinking about that. I mean, I invite that. I'm, I was like, maybe to to like, maybe one should say the name as I've never thought about because it's probably yeah. me commenting mostly on. Stuff. I mean, I I figured. Oh. I was like, Cole probably doesn't even remember me, but yeah, no. You're obviously beautiful, so. Oh, thank you. Not something so we you. can stick under the chair. Is that an expression in America too? Stick under. Did the you chair? say stick on the chair? Stick under the chair. Stick. On, oh, stick under the chair. Oh, is that what you said? That's a Swedish thing then. Yeah, it's it's like. But stick under the chair. 
under under the chair. So I'm when sorry. something is so obvious, you cannot stick it under the chair. I can't stick it under the chair. Okay. Sorry. No, I've never heard that, but I'm here for no, it. I'm okay, gonna start yes. using it. Yeah. And people people are gonna be so, like, what'd you say? Cool. I like it. I'm here for it. This is so much. This is so oh my fun. god, thank you. I'm so yes. happy. Thank oh my gosh, so. I'm so happy too. This has been way overdue, but I'm so glad that you allowed the world to, you know, listen in on our catching up because I really That's appreciate it. So fun. Yes. Thank you so much for your time and then everyone out there until next time, stay brilliant.